An egocentric individual who takes advantage of older women due to their wealth unexpectedly becomes attracted to a waitress harboring a concealed motive. The movie begins with Nicky, a conceited man, preparing to leave a luxurious mansion, completely absorbed in thoughts of his exceptional good looks. To support his vanity, he recalls a past intimate encounter with his mother's best friend. As he walks down the street, he reminisces about his initial arrival in Los Angeles, where he nurtured dreams of fame, wealth, and the companionship of women. Fortunately, most of those aspirations became a reality for him. Later that night, he goes to a nightclub, where he encounters Samantha, his latest love interest, and makes an effort to to win her over. Initially, the stunning lawyer rejects his advances, but over time, she falls for his captivating tactics. The wealthy woman then takes the self-absorbed man to her lavish house. During a private moment together, the promiscuous man deliberately holds back, ensuring he doesn't give his all to Samantha, knowing it will make her desire him even more. The next morning, Samantha wakes up and informs Nikki that she's going to work. In response, he employs his manipulative move called the rollover sleeping smile to further captivate her. Instead of asking him to leave, Samantha smiles and leaves him a note, granting him permission to use her credit card to buy breakfast. While Samantha is at work, Nikki enjoys his time in the luxurious house and takes the initiative to prepare a meal for the wealthy lawyer. His intention is to gain her trust and prolong his stay. When Samantha returns home, the manipulative man treats her like royalty, serving her dinner. When she inquires about Nikki's employment, he admits that he's not actively seeking job opportunities. Despite this revelation, Samantha is still drawn to him and they eventually share a passionate moment on the dining table. This pattern continues over the next few days. While Nikki continues to pamper and enchant Samantha, he quietly secures a comfortable life without her realizing that he's merely exploiting her for her wealth. One day, Samantha mentions her upcoming trip to New York, which will keep her away for several days. She invites Nikki to accompany her, but he declines, and they agree that he will stay in the house. After dropping Samantha off at the airport, Nikki throws a house party, inviting a large crowd, including his woman womanizing best friend, Harry. Their conversation is interrupted when Nikki notices his intoxicated and wealthy ex-girlfriend, Helen, at the party. Worried that she might expose the truth about the house not being his, he instructs Harry to drive her home. Another woman named Christina interrupts their conversation and asks for a tour of the house. Nikki indulges his attractive guest, leading to a passionate but brief encounter. After the party, Harry returns to Samantha's luxurious house after dropping off Helen. In a generous gesture, Nikki offers a spare bedroom for his friend to spend the night. The next day, Samantha calls Nikki, concerned about his lack of response to her calls the previous night. He selfishly claims he didn't hear the phone ring, conveniently omitting the fact that it was due to the noise from the house party. Shortly after, Samantha informs him that they will have guests when she returns home in a few days. The following morning, Nikki invites his friend Emily over, who is well aware of his deceitful nature. He tries to initiate a physical encounter, but she stands firm in her desire for a serious relationship which ultimately drives him away. Shortly after, Emily approaches him, suggesting they spend private time together in the bathtub. Later, they move to the bedroom, where she tries to persuade him to commit to a serious relationship, but he continues to decline. Subsequently, Nikki drives Emily to the parking lot and then returns to the house to spend time with Christina. To his surprise, Samantha arrives home earlier than expected and catches them in the act. The lawyer confronts Nikki regarding his hosting of a house party, resulting in a heated argument about their relationship. Eventually, they reach an agreement to stay together despite Nikki's continued womanizing behavior. During Samantha's absence, Nikki goes to a coffee shop and encounters Heather, who promptly rejects his advances. When he asks for her number, the waitress hands him his bill instead. Undeterred, the flirtatious man writes his number on the bill and leaves without paying. Heather, frustrated, tracks down Nikki's location and arrives at the luxurious house demanding payment. He tries to persuade her to come inside, but she refuses. Eventually, Heather takes the cash and leaves angry. Angrily. Intrigued by the waitress, Nikki becomes fixated on her and loses interest in Samantha. To catch Heather's attention, he orchestrates a plan where he pretends to be a wealthy businessman while Harry acts as his assistant. When Heather sees Nikki's luxurious car parked outside the restaurant, she warns him about the possibility of a parking ticket. In an attempt to charm the parking officer, Nikki dances with her, entertaining Heather. However, his plan backfires and he still receives a parking ticket. When Nikki returns to the coffee shop, Heather Heather discreetly slips her phone number into his pocket. He calls her later that evening, but she promises to call him back as she is currently busy. Unbeknownst to Nikki, Samantha witnesses this and becomes instantly jealous. The next day, Nikki visits Harry's apartment to store some belongings and confides in him about Heather not returning his call. While Harry advises him to move on, Nikki remains determined to pursue the
the waitress. Shortly after their conversation, Nikki playfully teases Harry about his pet frogs, leading Harry to kick him out of the apartment. Nikki returns to Samantha's residence to relax and swim. Eventually, he receives a call from Heather, inviting him to dinner. They meet at an upscale restaurant, but their date is interrupted when Heather receives an unexpected call and abruptly leaves. Offended by her behavior, Nikki follows Heather and confronts her about her rudeness. However, she appears indifferent and drives away. The next day, Samantha confronts Nikki about seeing someone else, but he denies it. She asks him to drive her to the hospital and pick her up the following day. After fulfilling Samantha's request, Nikki goes to the coffee shop but discovers that Heather no longer works there. To his surprise, he finds her swimming in Samantha's pool that evening. Nikki confronts her about leaving during their date and suspects she may have a boyfriend. Heather explains that her teenage brother had a sudden emergency due to his multiple sclerosis, which caused her to leave abruptly. They share a tender moment, and Nikki offers his comfort and support. Heather expresses her desire to take things slow, and they embrace, leaving Nikki wanting more. The next morning, Nikki takes Heather's keys to move her Porsche for street cleaning, but realizes that the car doesn't belong to her. He deduces that it belongs to her boyfriend, based on the presence of cigars inside. Hurt by her deception, Nikki throws the keys and clothes at her and orders her to leave. Later, Nikki picks up Samantha from the hospital where she had surgery and is advised to avoid romantic activities for a while. Over the next few days, Samantha notices Nikki's lack of response to her calls and decides to end their relationship. Before evicting him, she warns him about the challenges he will face as his looks fade. Enraged, she slaps him hard across the face and tosses his phone into the pool. Homeless and in need of help, Nikki reaches out to Harry, but his friend refuses to open the door for him. He seeks solace in Emily, but she responds by hurling insults at him for his promiscuous and manipulative behavior. In a desperate attempt to find shelter, Nikki tries to reconcile with Harry and agrees to meet him at an exotic dance club. Sean, a friend of Harry's, helps him gain entry into the establishment. However, Nikki becomes disgusted by how Harry and Sean treat the women performing and intervenes, leading to a confrontation and fight that results in Nikki getting thrown out of the club. When Harry points out that the women are exotic dancers, Nikki advises him to stop objectifying women, but Harry calls out his hypocrisy and asks him to leave. In search of a new place to stay, Nikki tries to crash a party but is turned away at the entrance. The next morning, he attempts to reconnect with Harry at his apartment, but his friend throws his belongings at him, leaving him penniless. With no options left, Nikki ends up at a budget motel. He tries to contact his mom, but she hangs up when he reveals his lack of a stable job. Determined to regain a life of comfort, Nikki goes to a hotel the next day and targets a wealthy woman. While flirting, he unexpectedly encounters Heather, who confronts him for pursuing someone older. Nikki confesses his financial struggles and admits that the luxurious house was never his. To his surprise, he learns that Heather is also scamming wealthy men. Heather invites Nikki to her apartment, offering him a place to stay. Inside, she informs him about her pothead roommate who never leaves the bedroom. Later, Heather reveals that she ended her relationship with the owner of the Porsche she used to drive and has moved on to another target. The next day, Nikki helps Heather attract the attention of a wealthy man and asks for a share of her gains, but she finds his request ridiculous. At the apartment, Heather suggests Nikki sleeps on the couch, but he insists on sleeping beside her, and they become intimate. Their relationship deepens, and they start dating and getting to know each other better. While dining at a restaurant, an unnamed woman approaches Nikki, but he can't recall her name, which offends her. To avoid paying, Heather discreetly gives Nikki foil to chew with their food. When he reacts negatively, she calls the waiter, claiming there's something in their meal and they leave without paying. The couple spends a beautiful day at the beach, sharing an intimate moment as the sun sets. However, Nikki begins to suspect that Heather is still pursuing wealthy men due to her frequent outings. One day, while Nikki is asleep, Heather receives a package from DHL and appears distraught on the porch. When asked about it, she reveals that she has ended her engagement, which upsets Nikki because she didn't inform him. Heather discloses that her former fiancé is a wealthy man who owns the New York Rangers, but she chose to end the relationship because she's in love with Nikki. When Nikki questions the sincerity of her feelings, Heather assures him that her love is genuine, proven by her commitment to him despite his homelessness and joblessness. Feeling insulted, Nikki leaves the house and goes to a coffee shop. He rejects the advances of a woman there, realizing that he wants to leave his carefree ways behind and commit to Heather. Before heading home, he grabs a newspaper, determined to prove to Heather that he can secure a job and provide a bright future for them both. However, upon entering the house, Nikki finds a note from Heather stating that she flew to New York to handle some matters and instructing him not to burn down the house. Despite repeatedly calling her, she doesn't answer. The next day, while at the supermarket, Nikki encounters an old, intoxicated friend 
and offers to drive her home. As the friend vomits outside the car, Heather unexpectedly calls Nikki and denies being with her ex-boyfriend. Nikki pleads for her to come back, but Heather explains that things have become complicated. Suddenly, she hears rumors that Nikki is with another woman. Nikki tries to explain that the woman is just a friend. But when Heather learns that she drives a Mercedes, she hangs up, assuming Nikki has returned to his old ways. Desperate in Heather's apartment, Nikki tries to talk to her roommate, Eva, who finally emerges from her room. After sharing his problem, Eva encourages him to take action and fly to New York to propose to Heather. Eva drives Nikki to Harry's apartment, and the two friends reconcile. To show his support, Harry covers Nikki's airfare to New York. Upon arrival, Nikki follows the address mentioned on the package Heather received from her ex-fiancé. He knocks on the door and sees Heather, elegantly dressed, open it. Realizing she's upset, Nikki assures her that nothing happened between him and the woman she heard on the phone. After understanding the situation, Heather invites him inside the luxurious house. Observing his surroundings, Nikki tries to convince her that she's not living the life she truly desires and that everything is superficial. He suggests she come home with him, but Heather declines, stating that she sees no future with him. Despite her hurtful words, Nikki takes out a ring and proposes. However, Heather rejects him, revealing she has already married her ex-fiancé. Nikki suggests she consider getting a divorce, but Heather declines, explaining that she values a comfortable life. Suddenly, Heather's husband, Will, arrives, and she introduces Nikki to him as a delivery person. After Will gives Nikki a tip, he embraces his wife and they share a kiss, leaving Nikki heartbroken. Devastated, Nikki leaves the building and flies back to Los Angeles. He begins rebuilding his life by securing a job as a delivery person. While delivering groceries to Samantha's house, he encounters the person who replaced him. He also moves back in with Harry and upon returning to his apartment, feeds Harry's bullfrog with a mouse. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I always love hearing from my viewers, so feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts on the video or any suggestions for future content. Once again, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.